Great. So what I want you to do is, can you solve that problem showing me the way that you learned how to solve it in school? Okay. And talk to me while you're solving it. So we learned that a big square like this is a hundred. So we could make that hundred into a cube which would make a thousand. So I'm going to do that. Oh, no, so let's just say that's a thousand. Mm -hmm. And now we ha we still have to do five hundred. Could make that into five sheets. We have 60, which are just lines of 10. One. And for her birthday, she got a thousand. represent one. Okay. So now we have to add all of these together. So you could make a thousand. All of these together is 400. Now you need 600 more. So now I'm going to write the numbers down. So we have 1,000 plus, well, let's just say 3,000 because we have three cubes. 3,000 plus 100, 200, So now we can erase all these sheets and hundreds and tens and singles. Mm -hmm. So maybe we can just add, and that gives us a total of 3,763. Okay. Now that problem you just solved took about eight minutes. Yeah. Okay. And that's what we're doing in school. But at home, I'm taught how to stack. And we're not allowed to do stacking in school, that's why we have to figure it out that way. Okay. So I'm going to stack these numbers, which is way easy. What are you thinking? You're looking at your problems. I got two different answers. You got two different answers. What do you think happened? Looks like you did the stacking correctly, and that took you about a minute. So I think I did something messed up in on this sheet. What do you think happened? Um, well, since that way was more confusing, and it was like things were, were like all over the place, like. It was hard to add them together because we had a lot of sheets and a lot of strips all on the board. Yeah. It was kind of harder to add them together. It needed to be more organized. More organized. And this way is way more organized. I could just look at this information and, and it wasn't as confusing.